Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. When we left off, we had just arrived at the Polodorus' estate, uh, where we um, got a lot more information about the Order of Ancients, and the plot has properly begun to thicken. <coughs> <coughs> so, before we start, let's see if there's anything we do want to upgrade. Uh, yeah, we want. Uh, did we? Yeah, we get the we got the bow bearer. Um, let's see. Now I do want adrenaline one and two, uh, and I do want the kill loot. So I think I will have adrenaline one. Where we'll start every encounter with uh, half an um, half a filled uh, what's it called adrenaline gauge to be able to do more uh, overpower attacks. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we got some more main quests. Uh, these are all related to the um, to the different order of ancients. I think I will just do them, them sort of in um, the order it's meant to be done. Uh, first, uh, Scarab Sting, level fifteen. Uh, but before we do that, there is a side quest we can do right here. Oh yeah, where have you got to? Ah, but actually first let's go ahead and loot uh, Apollodorus' estate. Why not? It's the least we can do, I think. After Apollodorus has treated us so well, we can rob him blind. <clears throat> oh, I think we've actually looted well, almost everything. I missed something in here. Legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the pigeon tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. The Weasel. This is a, sh uh, a very short side quest. Uh, Bayek meets Apollodorus' steward who asks him to run to the Pigeon Tower and retrieve a letter. At Apollodorus' farm, the steward Pelias is waiting for R Rhea to bring him a letter. When she takes too long, Pelias sends Bayek to fetch the letter from the Pigeon Tower for him. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, these don't drop anything. I forgot. I'm just so used to killing absolutely everything. <laughs> what has upset them? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Mm -hmm. Let's look up. Oh my. Apparently they fail to hit the convenient place taste stack. Not of 
Ivar. Where's the body? Hmm. I cannot leave you here. I will take you back to Pelias for the proper rites. Poor Ruia. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. Yeah, so a lot of these side quests, they um, sort of establish uh, how evil the um, Order of the Ancients is. They um, harass the people, oppress the people. Yeah, those kinds of things. By the gods, Ruya, what happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our master of arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. <clears throat> Ah, here's Aya, and here's where the party was last night. You should begin your journey, my love. Have you begun the hunt yet, my Bayek? The Order of Ancients has no idea what is coming their way. I will be heading north soon to defend Cleopatra at sea. Ugh. My head still aches from last night. Have you begun the hunt yet, my Bayek? <clears throat> Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Why would I know where that peasant is? Did you notice the um, sound indicating an enemy is nearby when we approach uh, Dimnos? <coughs> she has your badge. <coughs> well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. You can probably guess what happens uh, next. I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Pelias. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come. Try. <laughs> if you just spam assassinate, you can just uh, kill him. <laughs> Don't have to fight him. <coughs> Dimnos's letter. Dimnos, I cannot believe you have entered the service of Apollodorus. He serves that Egyptian woman in a country where women urinate standing up while the men sit down. It is all backwards. Leave them and con come join me in, in Cyrene. There are many fat merchants to please, Alcandros. Alright, let's get back to Pelias. Yes, he killed Ruia out of base cruelty, and he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. <clears throat> the letter you recovered, it is information for Apollodorus. I will make sure he gets it. We must all do what we can to help Cleopatra's cause. She alone cares for all the people of Egypt. All right. Now, I don't remember if there's anything else in particular to do at Apollodorus' estate. Let's just go around and explore a little bit. Here's the, the entrance gate. Is that Medusa said? Kind of looks like it. Yeah. 
if I remember correctly, there's just a little bit of random looting to do. found on the body of Dimlos, the master of arms. Okay. Uh, so the closest uh, quest we can do now is the Scarab's uh, Sting, I think, if there's not anything else on the map. Uh, yeah, there's this quest, which um, it takes us down towards where we're going anyway. Now we could try to do uh, this Philakis as well as grab this uh, viewpoint. So let's do that. So as I mentioned in the, um, one of the first streams, um, I do want to try to kill the Philakis as soon as possible, um, because you get a really cool outfit from it. But the highest level one is level 40, so we need to be at least, uh, well I guess level 38 or something, before we dare tackle him. Who was that? A hippo. Yes, I do want to kill you. Hard leather is still uh, very useful for crafting. Now we won't actually completely upgrade all of our gear until we complete, uh, or uh, at least until we start the uh, Curse of the Pharaohs uh, DLC. Uh, that one contains the star, the shards of a star, which. Um, we do need to uh, get the last few levels of all of our gear. Now let's mark uh, Ptolemy's fist. Oh, hello. Please don't harass my country people. Oh, cats! Let's see if I, if I can pet them. I think they're a little bit too scared right now. You do need to approach them a bit, little bit slowly to be able to pet them. Oh! That's why they're agitated. <laughs> we accidentally killed the cat. I think the soldiers did. I don't think it was my killing blow because uh, you get the message. Something like um, cats are sacred. Can we pet the dog? <laughs> I think you're only, uh, you can only pet cats in this game. In uh, most Assassin's Creed games you can pet dogs uh, with a prompt. But in this uh, game you... You have to approach at least the cats, and Bayek will run his hands over them. Which is surprisingly hard to do, I've only managed it a few times. There we go. So you just crouch next to them, and you can pet them. Anyway... <coughs> oh, Ptolemy's fist is pretty far away. Yeah, he's into the Satme Gnome. We are going there anyway, so let's just follow him.
Yeah, here's another one of the uh, ritual sites. Now, do I have a, a predator bow? Level 21. Yes, I think I'll exchange my hunter bow for that. Let's kill ourselves some crocodiles. Not bad if I do say so myself. <laughs> <coughs> So how are people doing this evening or morning or day, whatever the case may be? What's good? What are you doing? Statue of Sobek, Lord of the Nile. <laughs> it is contained within a symbol that invokes circuit, the Scorpion Goddess of Magic. <laughs> Dark and foreboding implications. <laughs> Prayer to Serket. We call upon Serket, who hold. We call upon Serket, who holds the breath and delivers the poison. We bring priests of the four gods to their sacred places, and we give them the glorified rites to meet Serket in her place of power beneath her heavenly sign. Their po powerful divine organs contain the secrets of divinity. We sacrifice them to appease the goddess of magic and medicine. They must have brought the sarcophagus by Luca. Could you remote place for this? Some of those marks on the body look like the sacred organs were removed. At least the lungs are gone. Okay, here is the last investigation marker. Looks like the pilot got away. But left them bombing tools. These deaths are a harrowing journey into madness. What could the perpetrators hope to gain by invoking the goddess of magic? So that's three out of four ritual sites done. I do believe the last ritual site is uh, somewhere close by in this general area. And now we have wandered into the Sap May room, no. <coughs> this is uh, the Sap May is the fifth gnome of Lower Egypt and the ancient region of the Psamtic Pharaohs. Yeah, again, as I said earlier, I do wish I <laughs> was more of a history buff so I could comment a little bit more on the geography and history of Egypt. But alas, I am not. There is the um, virtual tour of Egypt that you can do called, um, what's it called, Discovery Tour, uh, which I've been toying with the idea of doing that as well at, at some point. Although um, it wouldn't be, so, it wouldn't be a let's play, it's just a let's wander through a virtual museum. There are no quests and no, um, no combat and no story, it's just... Uh, Walking around, getting a, gu a guided tour of Egypt, which is interesting, but uh, I don't know if it's suitable for a let's play. I think Ubisoft also actually gave gave it away for free to to schools and such. I don't know if it's free for everybody. Maybe it is. Maybe it is now. I don't know. I dare you to. Ah, Harwa, you're such a baby. This is it, the ultimate dare. I dare you to steal the coin pouch uh, of a bandit from the hung Hungry Great Ones and bring it back here. Signed, E.B. Alright, so... <laughs> somebody got shot up here. <clears throat> now, let's see... Where do we want to go now? Um... 
Yeah, uh, he wanders back and forth, so maybe we should just wait for him. I don't want to. I do want to clear out the regions in a somewhat systematic manner, so let's do the Hungry River side quest. And get back to uh, the Canopus Gnome. Keep the neb safe. Alarm to battle! Time is up! Distract the enemy! I will push on! Is he the one with the materials? None of them. Well, there's a third one somewhere around here that I'm completely missing. Oh, is that him over there? <coughs> ah, never mind. Seems like a hunter has been here. That actually looks kind of delicious. There are two plates. Interesting. Oh, hey Dutch. How are you? <clears throat> I'm doing well. How are you? We are um, <clears throat> doing uh, a little bit of side questing around the Sapme Gnome. You just ate some dinner. Did you uh, did you see the di dinner I found inside the cave? Check it out. It looks delicious. Do please tell me if it looks anything like what you had for dinner. Yeah, you caught it. Excellent. <laughs> <clears throat> So tell me, I'm curious, what did you have for dinner? We had um, we had homemade pizza. Oh, that's a lot of hippos. I just commented about this a little bit before um, Dutch, but um, I think the hitboxes on the um, on the um, hitbox are crap, and now I'm almost feeling self-conscious self-conscious using the predator bow in front of you, <laughs> the master of predator bow. <clears throat> Yeah, you 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 definitely do hit the um, uh, the um, model of the hippo, but the hitbox is uh, smaller, it seems. <coughs> so that's very annoying. Push back, Auntie. You will just make the hippos excited. Or call the bandits back. Is is that him? No, not Maketra. But where is Maketra? What would we do without my cherished Maketra? I cannot worry about that now. If things do not change, the crops will rot and we will starve. Neb, you look strong and carry yourself without fear. Can you help a poor farmer? Your friend was killed by a hippo. Yes. The beast rampage slaughtered many. Yesterday, we were attacked by bandits. In their wake, they disturbed these hippos and drove them into our fields. The gods seem content to peace on us. We cannot harvest the crops, nor can we put the dead to rest with the hippos in our fields. Let me help you collect the dead. All right, the hungry river. <clears throat> 
A distraught farmer asks Bayek's help in collecting dead bodies from fields invaded by hippos. A bandit raid disturbed a pod of hippos who have settled in the farmer's fields. The farmers cannot retrieve their dead to give them a proper burial, nor harvest their crops. The farmer Jara asks Bayek for help collecting the dead. So I just learned that uh, several hippos is called a pod. That's interesting. You have a flock of birds, uh, a school of fish, and uh, apparently a pod of hippos. Even these hippos are uh, level 11, and uh, I'm 21, and still they uh, they take a lot of damage. They are really dangerous. I think the most dangerous animals actually are leopards. Let's just deal with, deal with all the hippos first. Where is he? In the fields? What? Where? Is it a bird in the sky? Oh yeah, that's it. These are apparently weed fields. Get out of my way. I love how the camera just spins around when you do ch chain assassinations in uh, close quarters. He just looks so ridiculous. <laughs> Is it him? No, not the Kato. Ah, I missed those soldiers. No matter. Let's just drop this body unceremoniously to the ground. Oh, I think we have to bring it closer. Is that better? No. There we go. What are you talking about? I just eliminated all the hippos. You could come help me. I'm breaking my back for you guys. Ungrateful pricks. Oh, there's one hippo left, that's why. <laughs> Excuse me. So Dutch, you never did tell me what you had for dinner, man. I'm still curious. <laughs> Is this Maketra? Salad or shrimp? All right. A brave fool, but a fool. I'm not a um, particular fan of seafood in general. I do eat fish, but I like um, mussels and how do you say it? Uh, it's called humma in Norwegian. I'm blanking on the English word. But yeah, like seafood in general, it's uh, not for me. By the way, just to p piss you off Dutch, I will switch to uh, either the Ezio outfit or the Altair. Altair maybe. <laughs> Since... <coughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> Excuse me, since you seem to have a p particular hatred for that outfit. The last one, <laughs> I think. And thank you, Nim. Their souls will now rest in peace. <laughs> Who is this Maketra your aunt mourns? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. I guess there's no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, someone must deal with the dead. Of course, I will find it. The bandits are known as the Hungry Great Ones. May the gods protect you. Now, I'm actually not completely sure about this, but I do believe the Legacy outfits, um, at least um, Altair's outfit, has been in every single Assassin's Creed game. I think that's right. <clears throat> what, did he die? Damn it. Oh, I probably hit the horse. Uh -huh. are friendly. Well, excuse me. Never mind. <laughs> no, I'm I'm sorry, Dutch. I can't uh, I can't do this to you. I'll take another outfit. Warden's oath. Why not? I think, I mean, there there are silly looking outfits, but I think this outfit uh, looks really silly because, um, yeah, Chunky Boy, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because, like, Bayek is really agile and uh, sprints up buildings and uh, this armor just looks so ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think our playstyles are somewhat similar in Dutch. In that regard. So here's a silly question for you, Dutch. You probably have done this. It's stupid of me to ask, but uh, have you uh, been exploring the, I think it's the White Desert, and found these, um, the mushroom-looking um, mountains that you can climb on the, on the, on the underside of? Yeah, I thought as much. Yeah, I, I remember playing this game when it came out and I was just messing around and I was blown away by that. I thought it looks, looked so, so silly. <clears throat> oh, I don't have any sleeping darts. Is there a refill around here? That way... Oh, there is. Excellent. So let's... Put all of these guys to sleep, and this guy to sleep. Catch ledge, so excellent. Ooh, never mind me. Oh, he can't see me, I think. I hope. I can probably lure him to the edge if I'm not detected. Be come, back. come on, come on. Hey! Be quiet, you.
Now I might actually clip this section if everything goes all right. If I'm not detected, then this would be quite awesome. Ooh. Ooh, almost. <laughs> yeah, this will be one for the books, I think. Oh. Shame I missed that shot. Well, I didn't think it was gonna connect. There we go. The stash. As instructed, we've left the coin stashed at our northern docks, behind a dead tree. A few of us will remain nearby until someone from the discipline, Disciples of the Lioness comes to pick it up. Okay, so the northern docks, behind the dead tree. Uh, that's probably this location. Uh, some of these locations are actually unmarked. You have to read the clues and actually travel to them. Let's rescue Maketro. Yeah, just give him a little push while we're escaping. Poor son, I'll be back for you. <coughs> Thank you. But why did you save him? Your aunt spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the flight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief. Fat Homer took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. Would you help me stop them? Yeah. Oh. All right, let's go murder some bandits. How fast he switches. Kind of impressive. Oh, I forgot about something. Uh, well, I'll do it later. I could have done a papyrus, but never mind. <clears throat> These guys actually do a decent amount of damage, I gotta be careful. I haven't unlocked the guided arrows yet.
What's all that about? Ketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Ha. Huh. Oh, and the statue of Ptolemy. I really wish destroying all of these would give you a reward of some kind. <coughs> Such a shame. Right, let's get ourselves some free XP. Why not? Yeah, uh, here is, I think, one of the papyrus solutions in this location. We are supposed to be finding <coughs> a tree standing by itself. That's a different kind of tree from everything else around it. I believe it's in this location. On a rock outcropping of sorts. I might be wrong. This might be the wrong... Uh, this might be the wrong location. Is it this one? It's a palm tree, which... Um, which is the same as the others, but... Oh, maybe it's this? Let's read the, pap the papyrus. Oh, in Sapmenom near near Antilla, that's a major uh, fort, which I think is yeah, it's a fort. So it's not this location. No, was it Sapires or Sapme? Ah, it's Sapme. Okay, yeah, never mind. It's not here. Oh. Oh, hello. Didn't I unlock uh, heavy charge? No, I didn't. Yeah, so this is probably the docks they were talking about in the Potamus hideout. New orders. Idris, I need you and your gang at the docks from now on. The disciples of the lioness will be sending someone to pick up their end of the deal. We cannot let our smuggling operation lose a valuable ally. I'm counting on you. Yeah, smuggling seems to be a um, favorite pastime of uh, bandits in ancient Egypt. Probably everywhere at every time. Oh, we missed something here. Probably underwater, I was going to say. Oh well, next to the tree. Ah yeah, of course. The uh, note said it was hidden behind the tree. Is there a crocodile here? Ooh. Smuggle everything, that's right. Even the legal goods. Well, I guess by definition that wouldn't be smuggling. 
Well, if you want to avoid taxes, then you can. Ah, what am I talking about? Uh, you do also smuggle legal goods. <laughs> you do it to avoid paying taxes, I guess. Anyway, let's just clear out the few locations we have left here. As you can probably tell, I am not a professional smuggler. Although I must admit, when I was younger and uh, went out to the town to drink, I did sometimes smuggle uh, smuggle alcohol into uh, places, so I don't, so I didn't have to pay a lot. Don't lie to me. <laughs> yeah, no Dutch. Uh, I am just a designer at Ubisoft. I, I'm nothing else, I swear. Order from Potomus Hideout. There's no easy path to prove your worth within the Great Hungry Ones, said Sabu. The fisherman sought to the north could prove to be a valuable location for us. Go with the raiding party and claim it. The fisherman sought to the north. All right. Uh, yeah, so this is probably one of the unmarked locations. I don't quite remember. But there should be a fisherman's hut somewhere here then. There's the, I think it's called Sapphire's farm or um, stables, I mean. Do we see a fisherman's hut somewhere here? Hmm. I don't see it. Actually, let me check what I need for upgrading. Soft leather, pelts, bronze, pelts. Yeah. I do have plenty of hard leather. Although I will need uh, like 16 plus 16, 32 plus 18, 50. Yeah, I need uh, I need hard leather still, so I have to. Well, I don't I don't like to farm particularly. I just uh, kill stuff when I come across them. So I won't go out of my way, at least not yet, to uh, get um, the materials the 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 materials I need. Actually, why not I just put them to sleep? Oh, come on. Why aren't you sleeping? There you go. Ah! Stop fucking up my aim, Bolt. You think you are helping, but you are not. God damn it, where's the last? There is another crocodile here. I get so nervous when I'm in water with uh, hippos and uh, crocodiles. You could say I've been burned before. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, th I think you weren't here, Dutch, but I got ganked by two um, by, by two hippos in the water. I almost managed to escape, but for some reason I fell into the water, <clears throat> like just from shore, and two hippos, they uh, stun-locked me, so I couldn't do anything. But watch in horror as Bayek was mauled to death. I don't recall how I fell in the water. I think I um, 
I think I misdodged or something. I'll have to look at the replay, I guess. Oh, was that the crocodile? It was. Damn it. Yeah, you don't mess with with uh, I want to say water animals, but that's not what I mean. I mean um, aquatic predators when you're in their their element. What are you carrying? You are carrying iron. I want some. Fuckers. Oh, I think I could have actually assassinated him through the uh, wall, <laughs> but I was too slow. Although I, I think I was detected, but... That would be, have been so awesome to do it while everything was on fire. <laughs> Alright, we have uh, just a couple of locations left in uh, Sapmenom and Lake Mariotis that we didn't catch before. And we have uh, yeah, a bunch of side quests around this area. But I will uh, just do these two locations and then I will call it the stream. And we'll have reached uh, almost exactly one hour for this part of the Let's Play at least. So I sort of have mixed feelings about um, doing both live streaming and Let's Plays for YouTube. I, I think my system works, um, but again, I sort of feel Let's Plays are something you do offline, like without an audience in particular, but I don't know. I know some um, streamers who upload to YouTube, they don't bother yes. to segment their place, they just um, upload the videos from um, uh, Twitch and just call them uh, VOD number one, VOD number two, and so on. And then have everything from like half an hour videos to five, six hours if uh, stream runs for that long. Yeah, it, it could work, I think. I think it sort of works the way I do it. I just don't know if it's optimal. They flew too high. And I'm out of ammo. And I'm out of smoke screens and everything. I really need to refill. Oh, but this was a uh, hyena layer. Okay, not a... Um... You'll find what works best for you, just keep trying and testing. Yeah. That's my current plan. Yeah, and yeah, as you say, I'm learning as I'm going as well. I'll figure out the rhythm to this. Oh yeah, finally some crafting. Increased range damage, yes please.
So what I'm currently working on Dutch uh, with regards to streaming is I try to be more uh, more like entertaining, more to make it a little bit more fun to watch. Uh, and as I said earlier this stream, uh, something I might do actually is read a little bit up on uh, like the um, history and and ge ge geography of Egypt to be able to comment a bit about that because I really am not into history at all. So ha half the time I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like I know about as much as anybody else about Cleopatra for instance. So yeah, I think it would be cool to be able to comment a little bit more. There is um, there is a guy on Twitch. I think it's um, who is it again? Um, Baby Weeks. Um, Baby Weeks Broadcasting. He's called. Uh, he has a he has a lot of um, a lot of historical facts. I've been watching him a little bit sometimes. All right. I think what he's done, he's uh, built a library of um, various facts about... I don't know if he's done it for all Assassin's Creed games, but at least Origins, Odyssey and, and Valhalla. And he has a um, uh, uh, bot on his channel, which can just spit facts. Oh, I need to pay attention here. A waste of an hour overpower. Yeah, I think it would make uh, the stream, if if not more entertaining, then at least more more interesting if you can learn some stuff. I mean, for instance, when um, oh, I don't know if you can hear me ab above all this noise. Uh, for instance, when I um, visited the um, library of Alexandria, uh, I looked at a few, uh, not tablets, but a few, um, yeah, pieces of astronomy and a bit, little bit of mathematics, um, Euclid's elements and so on. And then I actually could comment a little bit uh, about that. So maybe I should do the same for history. I mean, the Assassin's Creed series is like heavily based on history i know uh, of course a lot of this a lot of it is fictitious of course they have to take artistic liberties but uh, it's at least in part based on real historical figures and events and things oh i'm on fire that's dangerous Yeah, so this right here, for example, this is an unmarked location, which you sort of just stumble upon. <clears throat> the normal crocodiles look so small compared to the big alpha ones uh, let's see we got an ability point do we want anything do we need anything yes extend combo i do want that i think because i do want kill loot it costs three ability points that's kind of expensive but it's a really good quality of life uh, upgrade oh i need two for this one all right then we'll save all right, last location for the stream. Then we'll be at a nice round hour, give or take. Uh, 
Oh, I am getting drowsy. Was it just me or did that guy sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Give me a hand over here. Ah, give me a break. Give me a break, let me... Ah, don't hit him. Let me break the cage. <laughs> he will be back. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you're right. I should kill him. That way he, he can't be back. Oh, I can't. Ah, I wasn't aware. You can't actually hold your shield up while you're on a uh, an, an object like this. Try to kill Ptolemy's fist before we call it the stream. Just give me a little second here. All right. <clears throat> Let's go take care of Ptolemy's fist. If we can. Oh, did I fill? No, I didn't. Uh, I need to get some more uh, equipment. Can I get some equipment somewhere fast? Yes, Apollodorus' estate. And remember, goats don't give you anything, so I will leave them alone. I have a policy against killing cats. I won't kill cats in a stream. No way. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I'm really allergic to cats in real life. Uh, but I love cats. It's a shame. It's, uh, it's sad. What about you, Dutch? Are you a cat person also, or uh, exclusively dogs? Oh, you have two cats. Excellent. Do your cats get along with your dogs? Oh, Atlas, you, you're allergic as well. I don't know if I knew that about you before. Oh, did my did my horse just trample that charioteer guy? <laughs> what did he drop? Iron. They're doing fine. That's good. Yeah, I guess it's just a um, 
cartoon myth that uh, dogs and cats um, don't get along. You've had a cat before, yeah. You don't you don't have a cat, a cat now, I think, Atlas. Oh, is he going into uh, Heraclean Gnome? Yeah, I can follow him in there, no problem. My parents still do, but it's a new one. Okay. Actually, do I want to follow him in? Oh, well, he takes the road. No, I think I will be okay. I mean, I don't have too much against straying into areas I'm not, um, I'm not going to explore. Um, Really, but I want to try to keep it, keep the playthrough clean, if that makes sense. Oh, he discovered me. Oh, he, he wants to fight the uh, crocodiles. I let him. I can be a little bit sneaky, meanwhile. Damn it. Okay, now there's no mercy. He won't be allowed back on his feet. The question is, do I have enough smoke bombs to make this work? I think I do. I have two more. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, beat his ass. <laughs> You see, now I've, I'm, I haven't unlocked like everything I want to unlock, but I've been upgrading my tool pouch. That now I have, if not enough, then now I have. If I use my tools sparingly, I can actually beat these guys. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got. We got an ornamented key, a small key of the type that would unlock a chest decorated with the eye of Horus. I am so look looking forward to getting the um, the outfit we get. All right, I think I have done everything I wanted to do in this playthrough. So let's just fast travel here and call it the stream. So this has been Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, we messed around in uh, Sapme Rome. No, Sapme? Yeah, Sapme Rome. No, Sapires. God, now I'm confused. Let me just check real quick. Anyway, we've messed around a bit doing uh, a bit of side questing and uh, we learned a lot of new information about the ancient of the Order of the Ancients and we drove the plot forward quite a bit. Now we know of four new mem members of the Order of Ancients. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. And we completed, um, if not all of the um, locations in Submenome, at least uh, quite a lot of them. There are some side questing to do on our way to this location, which is called Size, which is um, yeah, where we go next. So, until then, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.